Darlings, I am so excited because today we are going to do a Charlotte Tilbury lip swatch video. Every single Charlotte Tilbury lipstick I own, I swatched on these lips. Now, I don't think I have every single color that she's ever produced, uh, but I would say probably the majority because I am a, a very big fan. If you like what I do, then don't forget to hit subscribe. Let's do this. I conducted a vote on Twitter whether I should do a music overlay or a voiceover, and you guys voted for voiceover, so here I am. I'm gonna to try to be as informative as possible, but if at any stage you get bored of my voice, then feel free to mute me, I will not be offended. So I've categorized the lipsticks by color. Let's start with nudes. The line has an abundance of nude shades, and I am so here for it. Whatever your skin tone, there is absolutely a nude for you. Nude Kate. This is a very pale nude with straight up peach undertones. And it is a little bit concealer lips on me, I will admit. Um, I can only really pull this off when I wear it with a deeper lip liner. Kim KW, another very pale nude, this time with peachy pink undertones. And again, this is the shade that I would wear with a lip liner. But I've seen uh, Nikki tutorials pull this off beautifully. So as always, it depends on your complexion. Miss Kensington, another peachy nude and a bit deeper than the previous two shades. And this one I think is rather wearable on me. Yes, I can get away with this one. Confession, a deeper nude yet again. We've got those peachy brown undertones and a really pretty sheeny finish. This one will also look really beautiful on your medium plus skin tones. Charlotte Darling, this is a medium cafe au lait kind of nude. We've got those peachy tones, we've got some brown tones, but very little pink at all, uh, if that's your jam. Best Actress. I actually think this is very similar to the previous Charlotte Darling, just one shade darker. So maybe if you have a deeper skin tone or more pigmented lips, this would maybe complement you better than Charlotte Darling. English Beauty uh, is a more brightened, pinkened nude. And this one really brightens up my complexion and I should totally wear it more often. Very Victoria is a grayish mauve nude. It's super unique. I don't have anything else in my collection quite like this. It gives you that nude lip effect without veering into that super pale concealer lips territory love. Moving on to the pink and rose toned lipstick category. Charlotte really excels at those wearable, flattering, my lips but better kind of shades. So get your PayPal ready. <laughs> Secret Salma is a pink and mauve. Sometimes mauve shades can feel a little bit uh, muted and mature on me, but I will happily rock Secret Salma. It feels like more of a modern mauve to me. The Duchess is a muted rose shade, uh, more warmth than Secret Salma and has more of a sheeny finish. This does not go with my eyes, my eye makeup at all, but it is a beautiful pink. Pillow Talk. I wasn't sure whether to classify this as a nude or a rose, because it's kind of both. On me, it's very much a my lips but better. Muted, dusty rose, so easy to wear. Rising Star. This is quite similar to Pillow Talk, but just that little bit deeper and a little bit stronger in color. But another my lips but better shade. Between the Sheets is a pale rose petal that leans warm. Uh, it's worth noting that this one does settle a little bit into my lip lines because it has a white base color in there, but I do love the color. Dolly Bird. This is a very pale pink on me, uh, most definitely a statement. I don't dislike it actually. I feel, like, I feel like with the right makeup, this could totally work. This shade I do find to be a little bit patchy though, FYI. Valentine. This is a very pale pink or perhaps a pinky nude, fits both categories with a sheeny finish. I say sheeny because I don't wanna say shiny. It's not shiny, it's like a, a creamy, sheeny finish. <laughs> the Queen. Am I crazy? You guys tell me if I'm crazy. Charlotte describes this as a red, but I see a bright but deep pink. No, that's most definitely a pink. Too bad I'm bad. Uh, a tricky one to describe, but here is my best effort. A medium muted pink and coral. It is a very wearable shade. Pin up pink, uh, a lighter, brighter sister of the previous shade, Too Bad I'm Bad. And if you like your warm pinks, you'll love pin up pink. Now on to the peach and coral category. Only a handful here, but some of these are my absolute favorites. I love peach, I love coral. Platinum blonde. A light to medium peach. This one could have also been categorized as nude. And this shade has quite a bit of white pigment in it, which I find can settle in the lip lines or maybe even collect in that ring around the mouth. Just so you know. <laughs> Bitch Perfect. 
A medium muted peachy pink. This is one of Charlotte's cult classics. It sits beautifully on so many complexions and one of my personal favorites. American Sweetheart. Uh, very similar actually to Bitch Perfect, just a touch deeper and a touch more tawny. Lost Cherry. You could call this a vibrant warm pink or a vibrant coral, both fit. Charlotte doesn't really do neon shades um, in her collection, but I think this is one of the most vibrant colors in her line. Sexy Sienna. A peachy coral, I would say. I love this one. If you want to wear bolder lips, but it's still a little bit intimidating, Sexy Sienna, I think, is a very nice entry point because it's a color, but it's not intimidating color, if you know what I mean. Next category is reds. We have uh, different finishes, shiny, matte, a variety of undertones, warm, cool, and that is how I justify owning them all. Screen Siren. The perfect blue base red. It's one of the best performers in the Hollywood um, lips liquid lip range. Opaque and even and so glamorous, I adore it. Legendary Queen. I would describe this as a brick red, so it has some of those brown undertones. And if you prefer more of a muted red, this one is for you. Love Bite. This is your classic bright orangey red uh, with a decent amount of shine. Wow, Karima. <laughs> Look at that overlining. I'm getting a little bit carried away here. The application starts to steeply decline at about 20th lipstick. Karina's Love. This is your classic bright pinky red, so a cooler take on a red lip. I have this in a mini and it is the cutest thing that I have seen in all of my life. Look at that. Our final category, berries plums and vamps, uh, which I've bundled here all together. Shanghai Nights. When I think berry, this is exactly the color that I think of. Great application on this one too, perfectly opaque. Walk of Shame. Uh, a berry with brown undertones or maybe like a burnt berry. <laughs> That's not very appetizing. This one isn't really my cup of tea, uh, but it is a bestseller. So there you go. Showgirl which I would describe as a desaturated plum that is on the deeper side. It actually reminds me of a vampy version of Very Victoria, such a unique shade. Dangerous Liaison. This is your muted brick shade with the plummy undertone. And I could take or leave this one personally. It's nothing wrong with the formula. It performs beautifully, just not my color. Opium Noir your vampy cool tone red. I was hoping that this would be a really deep vamp, but actually it's a fair bit lighter than it looks in the bullet. The darker Charlotte Tilbury lipstick I own is actually Glastonbury, a proper purple base vamp. This one does have the tendency to go a little bit patchy. It's just, it's that color, it's really tricky to formulate. But I find that if you blot and reapply, blot and reapply, you'll get a more even result. If you are curious about my opinions on the Charlotte Tilbury formulas, I'm going to pop up some infographics on the screen here um, with a little mini reviews. You can pause and read at your own leisure, but the too long didn't read version, I really enjoy Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks. Surprise! Hence why I've collected so many. There are hits and misses, you know, some shades are going to perform better than others, but overall they meet my expectations of a high-end lipstick. I'm always going to struggle to pick favorites because I have some serious commitment issues, but I would say my most worn shades are definitely uh, Bitch Perfect because I love me a peachy pink uh, and also Very Victoria, which is the color that I go for where I want to wear a nude, but I don't want to be boring. It's a more interesting take on a nude. I really hope that this video was helpful if perhaps you are in the market for a Charlotte Tilbury lipstick or perhaps you just want a little bit of direction or maybe you just like lipstick. And if you want to see more of my face, don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss any of my future uploads. I hope you are having a wonderful day, whatever it is you're up to, and I shall speak to you all very soon. Bye!